It's perhaps one of the most difficult lists to compile. Women and girls in Ontario killed by men. According to one report, in just the past two months, there have been 12 femicides in the province. Since um, November 26th of last year, up until the end of September, we're now at 40 femicides in total, which is obviously, uh, you know, very concerning. The youngest femicide victim so far this year was 14, and the oldest was 88. The Ontario Association of Interval and Transition Houses tracks these killings to call attention to the problem, noting 50% of them have occurred in the greater Toronto area. Most often, there is some type of known relationship, uh, whether that be a uh, family or an intimate partner, um, you know, sometimes it could be an other t another type of known relationship, either, you know, a neighbor, uh, sometimes a co-worker. Using media reports, Owaith has been documenting femicide since 1995, but there are still unknown details about other homicides, potentially more victims of gender-based violence. There's another 10 uh, that right now are unconfirmed uh, solely because we just uh, don't have, there hasn't been enough information um, released. The organization states there are hundreds of thousands of survivors in the province who need safety and support. There is a real danger um, that this can lead um, to more lethal violence. These are preventable trage tragedies that, that are occurring. Owaith putting emphasis that the federal government needs to implement the proposed national action plan on gender-based violence immediately to prevent femicides and address violence. Without a national action plan from the government and, you know, clear strategies from provinces and territories, um, it's, it's going to be very challenging to, to be able to, you know, move the needle on addressing gender-based violence uh, here in Ontario. A spokesperson for Women and Gender Equality Canada would only say that work continues on the National Action Plan, with Ottawa committing $539 million over five years to this strategy. For City News, I'm Faiza Amin.